Hi there, I'm Bill Goss, the owner of Elite Publishing Academy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your own kind of book marketing system. Um, many people, um, I get hundreds of phone calls each year from our existing clients and uh, potential clients um, kind of struggling with how to kind of market their book properly, how to kind of get their book out there and kind of sell onto other services. So ideally, um, get the old magic red pen out here. Um, we start off with the book. Um, lovely drawing here. Perfect drawing. Uh, we start off with the book, and what we ideally want is people to um, actually end up paying customers. So, again, amazing drawing skills here. How do you get the book to paying customers, whether it's be um, not the book itself, but whether it be uh, mastermind groups, training courses, webinars, seminars, widgets, whatever you're actually uh, looking to sell on. You know, you, the reason why you're here is that you know the book itself is you know, one of the best ways to generate leads and attract more clients. So that's why we're here. But how do we get the book into paying customers? And how do we utilize that? Well, it's no different to anything else you're doing at this moment in time, probably. Um, most people that we deal with are, uh, are successful in their own kind of field and they've been in business years um, but when it comes to their book they kind of uh, become disassociated with what they know um, i think it's because it's an emotional attachment uh, that's, a, that's what i think anyway um, the book itself you know you spend hours and weeks months even years on it um, and you're just glad to get it finished and um, that's where most people are at but realistically you know you're using the book itself to sell on other services. Um, if you're here to kind of be an Amazon number one bestseller, then good luck, and you might well be. Um, but if you're just here to kind of use the book and utilize it in the best way, as, as, a, as I said, as one of the main marketing funnels in your business to make paying clients, then um, this is how we do it. Um, this is gonna be a real simple um, system I'm gonna do. Obviously, I've got into loads of different possibilities, um, but I won't today. Um, but just to give you a quick example, obviously what we need to start with is kind of paid for advertising such as Google and Bing. Um, obviously we've got Facebook advertising nowadays. Um, we've got things such as uh, networking. So when you're, if you're out and about um, in your local network groups or mastermind groups, whatever it is. And then we have um, traditional things such as traditional print advertising, if that still works. Not sure, but you know, but there's lots of different elements there and we could have a whole list down here, but you know, old business cards and etc etc there's people that you've known in the past um, people that, you, that have come through the either your office doors or whatever it may well be you know, all this is here is legion you've got paid for advertising such as google and bing obviously you've got facebook now advertising and um, you've got networking and traditional methods what we need this to do um, is to literally from the actual leads themselves is to go into a landing page so all of these leads here go into a landing page as you may well know, a landing page is like an information page. It's not your full website. It's just there to kind of either a, give away a free chapter of your book um, or give information, whether there's a video like this even, explaining your services, whatever that is. Um, you need all these leads and go into a landing page. And from that landing page, all we're asking people to do is fill out some very uh, minor information, whether it be their name and email or their telephone or whatever you're after, in exchange for a free chapter of your book. For example or a free appointment or whatever you're whatever you're doing um, on landing pages um, we recommend that you test them as you would do in any marketing um, personally um, for each campaign we have we normally set up around about between five to seven uh, landing pages for each one um, and it could just be very similar ones or completely different ones but you'll be amazed um, what can be such a highly converting page it could just be a, a capital here or a certain word just going into a sentence it, it, it never ceases to amaze me really of what kind of changes and what people react to. So, you know, we don't know the answer to what is a perfect landing page. We've got a good idea of certain, uh, certain good ones, obviously. But again, it's about the, the, the kind of the copywriting skills as well and what works best for your particular clients and your, your actual customer base. So, um, pay for advertising, networking traditional into a landing page in exchange for a free whatever that may well be. And we we'll call that a free chapter for now. Um, of the book um, and therefore people have got information about you from the actual landing page and the information what you need to do really is set up um, an email um, server system um, such as MailChimp or if you uh, Infusionsoft or Entreport 
one of these ones where you can actually get the people's information, it sends it through to that, and then from that, you can send off daily emails, like I do, for example. Um, within the daily emails, what you could be doing is um, setting up appointments, getting quotes, whatever that may well be. But what you need then is from the daily emails, like I said, is to set up appointments, uh, visits even, and we just say quotes for now, because I don't know what particular industry you're in. But just for example, daily emails can then set up appointments, visits or quotations. And this is all just from a landing page, getting the free chapter, because you've got the information now. Um, what you need to be doing is sending out, sending out relevant content to people as well. Uh, there's no point just sending out willy-nilly or just sales stuff all the time. I do it from time to time, you know, I hold my hands up. Um, but what you, the best way to kind of uh, attract people to you is give them information, give them relevant information to, to themselves and therefore people will respond to you uh, much, much better. Um, regarding the emails, um, we send out daily emails. Um, some people send out weekly or monthly, but it's a no-brainer really because daily emails actually get you a much, much better response. Um, for some reason in this country still, in the UK, we, we, we think that we're kind of, um, you know, uh, stamping on people's toes or annoying them or whatever. Um, they'll tell you, they'll unsubscribe um, and, and then they're gone, you know, so don't take it to heart so much. Um, so from this, as I say, the call to action, setting up appointment, uh, visiting quotes or whatever other relevant information it is, the call to action is then done. You've asked them specifically to do something uh, for you. Um, and once they've done that, um, there's, there's only two ways to go. They're either going to go, you know what, yes, definitely, I'm interested, or actually, I'm not interested now. Um, not at this moment in time anyway. Um, don't be too disheartened. Uh, you're going to get more no's and yeses, I'm afraid. Um, as we all know, otherwise we'll all be sitting on the beach, wouldn't we? But with that, um, with the no's, unless they unsubscribe, um, or tell you to leave them alone, um, which you must do, then, then you know, don't worry about this because therefore you can put this into a different um, funnel. Um, so again, going back into the daily emails in, until somebody unsubscribes. But from the positive side of things, once somebody's actually said yes, this whole little system here, this is just a small system by the way, there's endless possibilities where we could go with this. Um, but I thought I'd just show you today a quick demonstration of a real simple mind map, and this is what I suggest you to do. Uh, is actually set your mind map out or the roadmap marketing map for uh, your book um, probably 90 days in advance if I'm honest with you because you really need to understand where your clients are coming from, who they are, their demographics basically, uh, male or female, their age group, um, their yearly income, if they're married or not married, whatever it is and the more information about your particular potential client or your existing clients um, the better it is for you. And you can re especially things such as Facebook now as well, Facebook advertising. Um, as scary as it is, but from a marketing point of view, it's great. Um, you know, you can really define your client or your potential client now. Um, so they, you know, it's, it's a new, whole new world really of, of kind of mind mapping people. Um, and you need to kind of set this up, this process of where you think you're gonna go with this. So if you're selling a mastermind group for a thousand pounds a month, for example, um, you know, along the way, you're gonna to have to drop in other products because it's, it's a big ask from someone to kind of say, um, you know, here's a free chapter, oh, by the way, become part of my whatever group um, for a thousand pounds a month, it's a big ask. You know, along the way, if you drop in a, a book at 15 pounds or a course at 200 pounds or um, a product that you may have at 500 pounds, so therefore you're kind of just drop feeding people a um, bit like with me to you as well, um, you know, you've got to give out a lot of information first. Um, everybody's a lot more savvy nowadays, everybody is. So, um, especially online, you know, it's dominated, we're there all the time, it would be on your mobiles or your laptops or whatever. Um, it's information overload sometimes. Um, and we need to attract the clients that A, we want to work with, and B, that are um, interested in what we do and make it relevant. There's no point having, say, 10,000 people come to your website and it sounds great, and say, oh look, I've got 10,000 people here. But realistically, you know, your hit rate and your conversion rate is pretty poor. Um, what you want is, for example, you have either have 500 kind of uh, really interested people, out of that 500 people, say 50 people are gonna take the free chapter, from the 50 people they're gonna set, you know, from that you're gonna get another, say, 10 to 15 that are gonna set an appointment or um, get a quote from you or whatever, and then from that you might get five clients, just for example. Um, which is probably about right between one to three percent. Some people have amazing um, conversion rates, but again, um, from that you'd rather you know 
think about that logically because um, it does take time um, and it does take a process similar to this to actually kind of get clients on board. So from the book itself, which is what you thought was a hard part, um, you, need, you need to now kind of get people interested in whatever you want to do next, which is selling services, like I say. Um, so hopefully that's helped out. Um, and I hope you haven't run through it too quick there for you. But literally the book is the start of the process. We then get leads through the door, Google, Facebook, networking, traditional, onto a landing page. Client then, or potential client, puts in their details. We give them something away for nothing, for example, a free chapter, which then goes into an email service system, which we then send out emails and relevant content as well, whether it's set up appointments or visiting or quotes, whatever it may well be. Um, then once they've done the call to action, we're gonna know um, within, this could take between seven days, to 30 days, 45 days, what is, that's kind of irrelevant really. Um, you need to be comfortable with what you're doing um, with this particular process. But once they kind of, you know, we would have filtered people through, people unsubscribe, they go away, not a problem, don't take it to heart. And then they're going to say, yes, you know what, I'm interested. It doesn't mean you're going to buy it, they're going to buy something from you straight away, but I'm interested in seeing you or getting the quote, whatever it is, or, you know, not interested for now. But from that, you know, just because they're not interested now, they might be interested in, say, three months' time. So again, unless somebody says, leave me alone, then they're, they're still kind of a, a lukewarm lead, shall we say. So hopefully you followed that all the way through. That's one of the easiest ways I can explain on how to use your book to get it to selling services. And um, I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for your time.